Stasi is a true experiential story. It is conceived and constructed from documented written journals of an artist during a five-year period from 1997 to 2002. Due to spontaneous, synchronistic, and intuitive interaction, certain circumstances resulted in a spiritual pilgrimage across America. Referred to as manifest destiny in American history, this spiritual pilgrimage is referenced in ancient times as the land between Lemurian and Atlantean civilizations. Atlantis Rising is the journals of this journey. Over time, a personal transformation was documented reflecting a quantum leap of human consciousness at the dawning of a new millennium. The world now stands on the brink of a major transformation. The challenge to this transformation has been recently demonstrated by the last desperate acts of Anunnaki bread pawns to achieve their new world order agenda. Evil can never be eradicated. It can only be transmuted. This story tells of a new energy matrix which is now rising, and its sole purpose is to expose and challenge a world polarized by a web of illusion. Woven intricately by relatively few sources, this web manipulates power in order to separate, deceive, and dominate the human race. Through a newly activated light grid energy matrix, Humankind now has the ability to transcend this veiled net of deception. What we as a collective whole have been witnessing of late is the final quantum leap for the restoration of full human consciousness on planet Earth. Rising together, we must voice a decree that all tyranny, all acts of domination, slavery, and destructive thought form control over human beings must now cease. The following account of my journeys is chronologically documented through my awakening experience. It is not about new age or religious rhetoric, but rather a journey based in spiritual science, meta-science. It is my story. Although the results may never be proven through current status quo scientific methods, the history reveal a time in evolution in which humanity stood at a threshold and embraced a total shift in awareness. new human in the cosmos myth is now being created. The new light energy grid matrix is an instrument of peace, cooperation, and of love. It is not to be used to manipulate a new world order, but to create a whole new world, a new heaven on earth. Mustafa, the chosen and the beloved, who was a dawn unto his own day, had waited twelve years in the city of Fallacy for a ship that was to return and bear him back to the isle of his birth. And in the twelfth year, on the seventh day of Lilu, the month of weeping, he climbed the hill without the city walls and looked seaward, and he beheld the ship coming with the mist. Then the gates of his heart were flung open and his joy flew far over the sea. And he closed his eyes and he prayed in the silences of his soul. But as he ascended the hill, a sadness came upon him. 
and he thought in his heart, How shall I go in peace without sorrow? Nay, not without a word in the spirit shall I leave this city. Long were the days of pain I have spent within its walls, and long were the nights of aloneness. And who can depart from his pain and his loneliness without regret? Too many fragments of the spirit have I scattered in these streets, and too many are the children of my longing that walk naked among these hills, and I cannot withdraw them without a burden and an ache. It is not a garment I cast off this day, but a skin that I tear with my own hands. Nor is it a thought that I leave behind me, but a heart made sweet with hunger and with thirst. Yes, I cannot tarry any longer. The sea that calls all things under her calls me, and I must embark. For to stay, the hours burn in the night, is to freeze and to crystallize and be bound in a mold. Fain that I would take with me all that is here? But how shall I? voice cannot tarry the tongue and the lips that gave it. The voice cannot carry the tongue and the lips that gave it wings. Alone must it seek the ether, and alone and without his nest shall the eagle fly across the sun.